vision, spirit, creativity, forces that drive discovery and innovation, forces at work in American industry, improving life today, inspiring progress tomorrow. Chemical injury. The effects can be devastating and the damage long-lasting. It can affect anyone at any age and frequently goes undiagnosed. This results many times in a doctor only treating a patient's symptoms without realizing the chemical that's actually causing the injury. Because of this growing epidemic, Dr. Grace Zeem and her team have developed a website that addresses this very topic. We've just launched a new website, chemicalinjury.net to teach people how to prevent and treat chemical injury and illness. It's easy to use. It contains information about hazardous chemicals and safer approaches, early warning symptoms, and good medical care. The chemical injury epidemic is on the rise. It affects millions of Americans with chronic symptoms, babies, children, adults. It often starts gradually and can affect many body parts, so it goes under many medical labels. It's important for people to know the early warning symptoms and for doctors to know how to diagnose it early, help people stop exposure, and provide good medical care. So it started so slowly and almost silently until I started talking to people about what had happened and doctors started telling me about how serious exposure to these chemicals were, I didn't even realize what was happening to myself. I just knew something wasn't right. Pesticides, pollutants, environmental chemicals, they all affect air quality in our homes, schools, and workplaces. Each person is affected in different ways, and some are more sensitive than others. A 1990s EPA report estimates that poor indoor air quality costs the U.S. over $1 billion annually in lost productivity. These numbers are climbing as more chemicals are introduced into our environment every year. It was all materializing as physical ailments and spine problems and arm and nerve problems and couldn't feel and just sensory changes and brain fog. After years of struggling with multiple conditions and researching possible causes, Ken eventually found the answers and got the help he needed. Chemical injury has been recognized for decades, but it's only recently that we've had scientific advances to detect it early. Through her website, chemicalinjury.net, Dr. Zeem is able to provide much needed information and education to others. Early warning symptoms of chemical injury include burning or irritation of the eyes, nose, throat, and lungs, sinus headaches, migraines, poor memory and concentration, hyperactivity, especially in children. Later symptoms include chronic fatigue, widespread aching. Other effects are autoimmune diseases, degenerative diseases, and cancer. In most cases, early recognition can lead to a faster recovery. Chemical injury is treatable. Early detection helps prevent disability. Good medical care helps speed repair. By making more informed buying and living decisions, you can help enhance your family's overall good health and limit harmful chemical exposures. Chemical injury causes biochemical changes to many organs and functions of the body, and these can be measured by special laboratory testing. We can also measure early changes to the brain and nervous system by specialized testing, such as computer-administered balance testing, reaction time, acquired color vision, and other tests. You're kind of alone out there with trying to figure out why do I feel this way so lousy every day. And the research on how to correct it all comes right back to Dr. Zeem's protocols, which has been probably the most 
confidence producing thing that these are the, about the only things that you can try and you just have to stick with them. It's been a slow learning process of understanding from an expert's viewpoint what happened and how it happened and how it continues to affect me and the healing process part of it is again very frustrating because it seems to take so long if there were any thing that I would want to share is for people just to think about the small amounts of things that are around their house and their lives that add up to a large amount of things. I'm hoping that the website will create more public awareness about chemical injury and disease to help people understand the causes and how to prevent it, to help doctors understand how to recognize it early and stop exposure. It contains information from thousands of doctors and scientists, as well as my information and experience from decades of treating and preventing chemical injury. I want people to be able to earn a living without getting sick healthy and safe schools, safe homes, safe lawns to run and play on, safe drinking water, food, air. I want a safer, healthier life for all of us.